tell you what, it's warming up out there. My little wine's doing good. It's passing through some cold days. Ah, yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to get my crawfish together. I got them together. That's a beautiful crawfish. These are from uh, Louisiana only. That's the only place I get my, my crawfish is at home over here, Louisiana. And they're beautiful. They come from beavers uh, out of Mamu. Beavers crawfish. And I tell you what, I cleaned them, checked them out. Now, it's a whole pack. Every one of them was good in the whole pack. So what I'm going to do is get ready to fry them. We're going to do some, uh, ham some burgers, uh, crawfish burgers. Now, I'm just going to fry them. Set them on the side. I've got the blackened potatoes. People can go ahead and follow the recipe. Very simple. And make it themselves. Okay? Here I go. First thing I want to do, I want to put just a little touch of chili powder on my crawfish. Just a touch. I'm not making chili. A little cayenne pepper. Not much. I've got a little paprika. Like old no air time John say for essence. Put me a little black pepper in here. Not much. And a little garlic powder. All right. And I just want to kind of swish that around a little bit. And make sure the ones at the bottom there, they got to make sure the ones at the bottom got some of that stuff, you know. Let me check my little fire here. Whoa! Got me a hot fire going now. I'm about 325, so it's about ready to fry. But I'm not ready. Now, I'm not putting any salt on this because I don't want too much. I'm going to put a little salt in here, in my flour. Anyway, I got salt in my mustard here. I always put a little mustard on there. Now, you don't want to overpower it. If I'm making a sandwich with these, I want to do mustard. You know, I could do egg wash, I can do a, a chicken broth wash, I can do anything I want with this. But, if it's going for a sandwich, I eat mustard anyway, and it's going to cook down, and you won't get much of the mustard flavor, but you'll know the mustard's in it. One of my number one testers, old John, uh, well, two of them, really. John and Leo, that's my testers. They, they uh, say for sandwich, the mustard one is the best. Put a little bit more. I need a little, a little damp. Because I want to hold my flour. But I don't want it too damp. All right. Now I'm working on my flour. Not gonna put no chili powder on my flour. I'm gonna put some paprika, garlic powder, a little cayenne. I'm not gonna put any black pepper. And I'm gonna put some salt. Let me get this out of the way so y'all can see what I'm doing. And I want to kind of stir this up a little bit. Hee ha! Third baby! Hot dang! Oh! Woo. Hey, Miss Shirley! Hot dang! That's my camera girl. Okay, honey, I'm going to calm down. Okay, I'm going to wait till Saturday. Well, today is Saturday night. We got to go to the dance, girl. All right. Crawfish! Twenty-five degrees. That's good enough for old Tate. 
Yeah, I go. Drop them crawfish in there. Now, they don't have to stay real, real, real long, but I want them till they brown, you know? Them crawfish, by the time you get them, they almost cooked. They're not cooked. Tell you, I'm not gonna put them on a paper towel because they're gonna be going on a bun very shortly. All right, Miss Shirley, what time is it? Couple more days, a couple more days. <laughs> if there's a little crawfish juice in that, so much the better. That's what I gotta say. Excellent, excellent. I didn't add any more salt. Anyway, I'm going to see y'all later. I oh, yeah, baby. Hot dang.